Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here, and today we're going to discuss, are you the help or are you a special guest? Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Advice for Magicians, where my job is to make you the best possible entertainers that you can be. Now today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's kind of more of an opinion piece, I guess, because there really is no right or wrong answer when it comes to this. Some people see themselves as, you know, the hired help or, you know, the person that was booked to just show up, do magic, have everyone have a good time and then leave. Other magicians like myself prefer that we be more like a special guest, like we're invited to be there to share our passion with people and, uh, you know, we're treated as a special guest, not as just like, you know, a caterer or, you know, the guy that sweeps up all the trash at the end of the night or whatever. Now, I don't want this video to seem like I'm saying that I'm better than anyone else. I am no better than the person that sweeps up at the end of the night because everyone that was hired to be there plays their very important role. The role that I wanna play, however, is one of a special guest. So we're gonna discuss what I mean by this in this video right after these announcements. If you haven't already done so, please go ahead and click the subscribe button Ring the bell, that way you guys will know anytime I upload some new videos so you can stay caught up on future uploads. If you wanna support me, you can also consider clicking the join button and becoming a Mob Squad member. Memberships are in the membership link, so if you have any questions about that, go ahead and check out the link or let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them. At this time, we'd love to take a look at some of the newest members. So ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to Albert Leach, David McBlain, Noah Puritan and Christopher Cram. They are some of our newest members. And right there at the top is Jim Brown. He is our first mob boss. So thank you so much to everyone who has joined and who has subscribed. It's because of you that I'm able to keep this channel going. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. So what am I talking about now when I talk about the help versus you know, being a special guest? There are a lot of magicians that when they show up to an event, they like to keep it very professional and very direct. They show up, they do their thing, and then they leave, right? They don't like to stick around after, they don't like to eat, uh, they don't like to be seen sitting amongst the guests before or after the show, they don't like to drink or eat any of the food or anything like that. They might see that as a little unprofessional. And I completely understand where those people are coming from. I had a nice little discussion with a couple of different people in the advice, uh, in the, uh, what's it called? The, the Magicians Only group on Facebook. I believe it was that forum. It might've been one of the other ones. Um, where uh, someone asked a question about mixing and mingling and, you know, being um, part of the group or whatever, having, having fun. Like, with, like, for example, there was a video that I posted a while back where I was talking about, you know, being part of the fun with the kids. So, like, I ran through the slide with them and, and shot a couple of hoops with them because it was like this indoor center, right, where they had, like, a basketball set and all that stuff. Shot a couple of hoops with them and all that stuff. And a couple of people said, man, like, I would never do that. That's so unprofessional. Like, you can't just show up and be playing with the kids. You're the magician. Like, they hired you to show up and do your show, right? So I completely understand where those people are coming from. For me, though, it's, I'm not just the hired help, right? Like, I'm not the caterer. I'm not the wait staff. I'm not uh, the custodial, right? I'm, I'm the special guest that is there to entertain people. So yes, I was hired to be there. Yes, they did pay me to be there, right? But they're paying top quality dollar for top quality entertainment. And my entertainment extends before and after the actual show itself. So from the minute I walk through those doors, I am on stage, right? Doesn't matter if I'm performing magic or if I'm just having fun and shit chatting with people, I am there and I am on. I am the magician. I am on performance mode from the time I start to the time that I, or from the time that I walk in the door to the time that I leave, right? So for me, if the kids are like, hey, Mr. Magician, like check this out, and they want me to watch them shoot basketball or play, or if they wanna show me a card trick or whatever, I am more than happy to do that with people. When I'm walking around my uh, company holiday parties, for example, right before I'm scheduled to start performing, the first thing I do 
especially if there's an open bar, <laughs> is go to the bar and ask for a drink. And I have that drink in my hand as I'm walking around, right? Because I like to be one of the guests when I'm there performing. Some people have said like, you shouldn't do that because you're not one of the guests. You're the help, you're the entertainment. They booked you to be there, right? But again, I am one of the guests when I'm there and when I'm performing. I am a special guest. I am the entertainer, but uh, I want to be amongst the people that are there, the, the guests that are there, right? So I'll walk around, I'll have a drink in my hand, I'll introduce myself. My name is Michael, I'm actually the magician today. Would you guys like to see something fun? They say yes, I set my drink down and then I start performing for them. There really is no right or wrong answer when it comes to this. It really is up to your personal discretion. But I don't think that there is anything wrong with mixing and mingling with people before and after the event, playing with the children if they wanna play with you, um, obviously not in a creepy way, right? That was another comment that was a little off-putting was someone said, man, you're like really creepy. Like if you were like playing in the slides and stuff with the kids, like if I was an adult, I wouldn't want the magician, a grown man playing with my children. But I'm playing with the children when I'm performing magic for them. So in my opinion, it's the same thing. The only difference was is that I wasn't doing magic when I was playing with them on the slides and um, playing basketball with them. But I was doing magic when I was entertaining them. But either way, I was playing with them, right? Now, obviously, you don't want to go into like a dark corner with the kids because, you know, that could be misconstrued and that could look a little sus, right? But... If the kids want you to go down the slide, they go down the slide. If the kids want you to shoot a couple hoops with them, shoot a couple hoops with them. I don't think that there's a problem with that. Same at the adult venues. Grab a drink, grab some food. Nine times out of 10, the client that booked you is gonna tell you, go grab a drink, go grab some food, make yourself comfortable, right? Be, you're, you're part of the family for this evening, right? Like that, almost nine times out of 10, I'm part of the family this evening or you know, I'm one of the guests this evening, or oftentimes they want me to like pretend like I'm not even hired. And then I'm just there doing magic because it's fun for me to do. And I know the, I know the, the client, right? The guest of honor, or the, the couple that just got married or whoever. Uh, not too long ago, I just did a real estate company's holiday party. And the woman told me like, you're not a magician tonight. You're a guy who I know through the real estate industry, who just happens to know some card magic. I'd love for you to just do some card tricks for people and just mingle with them as if I know you and you're not like the magician that I booked for this event. So a lot of the times the clients themselves don't see me as the help, they see me as a guest of honor. So why not play that role, right? These are my thoughts on it. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this though. Please let me know in the comment section below. How are you approaching this when you're there as a hired professional? Are you just the help? Are you the same as like the wait staff and the custodial, you do your thing and then you leave? Or are you more like one of the guests? You like to mix and mingle with people, maybe play a little bit with the kids before or after the show, stick around, eat some food, have some drinks, walk around with a beer in your hand. What do you like to do when you are there as a performer? Let me know in the comment section below because I'd really love to hear it. Again, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe, ring the bell, and join if you'd like to support me further. It's only $1 a month to join if you just want to show some support. But if you want to access the tutorials, for $5 a month, you can do that. Or for $100 a month, you can join as a mob boss, just like Jim Brown did, our first mob boss here. And you'll get direct one-on-one -on -one access with me where you can ask me direct questions, whether it be a phone, con uh, phone consultation or a one-on-one -on -one Zoom where we can work on your technique or learn some new magic or help you to take your professional career to the next level. Anyway, I'm Michael O'Brien. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.